So far, we've gotten mixed answers. Some say the perfect game does exist, but some say it doesn't. Do we need to look outside of our own team's culture? Let the search continue. Coach Ming. Rosa, hi. And the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist? Is it achievable? And if so, what does that look like? Um, the perfect game could exist if, as long as you have the right spirit and you love the game, uh, making your serves and passing, and that's how you get the game rolling, and then right there is the great game. We are here with uh, PE. PE, and the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist? And what does that look like, if so? Um, I don't think the perfect game exists because um, volleyball is very like you can't really determine what's going to happen in every game or every point and it's very uncontrollable. But I think like every team can do their best to try to control the game but I don't think there's ever going to be a perfect game. But yeah. No, it does not exist. Everyone makes mistakes and that's okay. And um, as long as you try your best and work your hardest then you'll be fine. Coach Ted, I have a question for you. It's, does the perfect game exist in volleyball? And if so, what does that look like? No, there's no perfect game, but there's actually games that are competitive in a sense, but it always comes down to passing and serving. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Baum, the AD for Colorado High School. And the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist? And if so, what does that look like? Well, yeah, the perfect game exists in baseball. 27 up, 27 down. Pitcher can throw a perfect game. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bob. You're welcome. <laughs> does the perfect game exist in a volleyball context? And if so, what does that look like? A perfect game might be like with multiple rallies. I think a perfect game would also be like the chemistry you have in your, your team. There's no perfect game because no one's perfect. Um, yeah, it does exist. Um, We've seen it in women's volleyball, we've seen it in girls' volleyball. No. No. No, perfect game is And why? No, nothing's perfect. Okay, there you go, thank you. All right, Grace, the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist in volleyball? No. And why is that? I don't know. Okay, how are you feeling about the game tonight? Good. I can tell. I'm here with? Coach Jaron. And the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist? And if so, what does that look like? Does the perfect game exist? Um, I think nobody is perfect in any way. Um, now there's no perfect game, just play your best and see what the outcome will be. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, here we're coming to Coach Harley. And Coach Harley. <laughs> Oh, actually, <laughs> Coach Harley's eating right now, so we're going to have to come back to her later. <laughs> I think the perfect game does exist. I think the team just has to work collectively and make sure that everyone is on the same page. Um, I think if we all have a good attitude and we work as hard as we can, the perfect game will come up or will, um, you know, Happen, happen yeah. yes. Um, we just have to have a good attitude and have fun and be positive. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yes, I do think it exists, and it looks like it looks like working hard and being a good teammate and never giving up. I'm here with my sister. I'm just kidding. I'm here with my sister. This is Avery. Avery, the question I have for you is: Does the perfect game exist? And if so, what does that look like? Whoa. Oh my god, the buzzer. Um, no, the perfect game does not exist because there will always be trial and error, but however, you can learn from your mistakes, and when you learn from your mistakes, it'll then turn into a perfect game. Wow. Okay, good I job. So good proud job. Of I think no, because I once saw this quote, it was a really good quote. It's like, does practice make perfect? And they're like, no, practice makes improvement. So, I don't think the game will be perfect, but like it could get better every single time. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank okay, thank you, Kaylee. Woo! Santana Sports, a family-owned sporting goods distributor. 
providing team and individual equipment needs. We are also proud distributors of locally owned Hawaiian fight gear. Also, O'Neill protective apparel and accessories. Follow us on Instagram at Sports Santana. Okay, Joss, my question for you is, do you like, have you ever used a sky ball? A, what? A sky oh. ball. Um, not in a game before. Practices, oh. Oh. yeah. Okay, and how do you feel about them? I think they're awesome. If you can do it right, then they're like the best thing ever. Have you ever used a sky ball in a game? A what? A sky ball. Oh, me, myself? Oh yeah, absolutely. Coach Ed probably yelled at me, yeah. <laughs> Pro yeah, exactly. Yeah, ask Coach Ed. I'm sure he'll know. He probably yelled at me and told me I'll never play again, but that's all right. <laughs> okay! Well, now that we've unpacked trauma, we're going to move on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm here with... Uh, Paco Loco. And the question I have for you is, does the perfect game exist in volleyball? And if so, what does that look like? Uh, the perfect game, would that be like 25 straight sets in a row, serving aces in a row? Like, I think that'll be a 25-0. That's pretty embarrassing on the defending team, though. It almost happened here today, but I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't hear it from me. Okay, thank you so much.